Netflix cancels House of Cards and says they are deeply troubled by Kevin Spacey sex assault claims while gay stars slam actor including Rosie O'Donnell who says we all knew about you. Sometimes it does not get better. Less than 24 hours after Kevin Spacey announced to the world that he is a gay man in an attempt to deflect from underage sexual assault allegations, Netflix has announced that they are cancelling his show House of Cards after its sixth season, which is currently in production. This news comes after Spacey made the decision to come out of the closet in a statement apologizing to actor Anthony Rapp, who said in an interview that the actor attempted to sexually assault him in 1986, an incident Spacey says he does not remember. Rapp was 14 at the time while Spacey was 26. Media Rights Capital, who produces House of Cards and Netflix released a joint statement on Monday saying they are deeply troubled by last night's news concerning Kevin Spacey, who, as previously scheduled, is not currently working on set. In response to last night's revelations, executives from both of our companies arrived in Baltimore this afternoon to meet with our cast and crew to ensure that they continue to feel safe and supported, said the two companies. The show's creator Bo Willimon also weighed in, saying, Anthony Rep's story is deeply troubling. During the time I worked with Kevin Spacey on House of Cards, I neither witnessed nor was aware of any inappropriate behavior on set or off. He went on to state, that said, I take reports of such behavior seriously and this is no exception. I feel for Mr. Rep and I support his courage. There is also a chance that Spacey's character was never meant to be in the sixth season, with his character's health an issue throughout the five previous seasons of the show and the actor currently in the middle of shooting a Gore Vidal biopic. Spacey, 54, is now being compared to Harvey Weinstein by members of Hollywood's LGBTQ community who view his sudden openness about his sexuality as nothing more than a calculated manipulation. Rosie O'Donnell, who is never one to hide her feelings, went right for the jugular in her response, writing, You don't remember the incident 30 years ago? F asterisk asterisk you Kevin, like Harvey we all knew about you, I hope more men come forward. When someone asked O'Donnell if she know of any more Hollywood predators like Spacey and Weinstein, she responded, Of creepy men in Hollywood? White guys in positions of power? And there are too many. She later clarified her claim that everyone knew as well, stating, No one knew it was kids except for the ones he abused. Most abusers had many, many victims. Wanda Sykes tweeted, No, 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 no. You do not get to choose to hide under the rainbow. Kick rocks. Zachary Quinto meanwhile took a more thoughtful approach and eviscerated the two-time Oscar winner in a searing indictment of his behavior through the years in which he accused the actor of remaining in the closet for his own benefit. It is deeply sad and troubling that this is how Kevin Spacey has chosen to come out, wrote Quinto, who produced the 2011 film, Margin Call, which starred Spacey. Not by standing up as a point of pride, in the light of all his many awards and accomplishments thus inspiring tens of thousands of struggling LGBTQ kids around the world, but as a calculated manipulation to deflect attention from the very serious accusation that he attempted to molest one. He continued, I am sorry to hear of Anthony Rep's experience and subsequent suffering. And I am sorry that Kevin only saw fit to acknowledge his truth when he though it would serve him just as his denial served him for so many years. May Anthony Rep's voice be the one which is amplified here. Victims' voices are the ones that deserve to be heard. Star Trek star George Takey also went after Spacey's statement and his conflating of this alleged assault and his sexuality. When power is used in a non-consensual situation, it is a wrong, said Takey. For Anthony Rupp, he has had to live with the memory of this experience of decades ago. For Kevin Spacey, who claims not to remember the incident, he was the older, dominant one who had his way. 
he then explained. Men who improperly harass or assault do not do so because they are gay or straight. That is a deflection. They do so because they have the power and they chose to abuse it. The incident that spurred this all allegedly took place at Spacey's apartment in 1986 when the actor invited Rip to a party while they were both appearing on Broadway. In an interview with BuzzFeed, Rip said that he found himself alone in the apartment at the end of the night and that Spacey then began to make his move. He picked me up like a groom picks up the bride over the threshold. But I don't like squirm away initially because I'm like, what's going on? And then he lays down on top of me, said Rip, who detailed being pressed up against the bed before being able to squirm away and ultimately leave the house without being assaulted by Spacey. At the time, Spacey was just at the start of his illustrious professional career, having been selected by Jack Lemmon personally to star alongside him in the Broadway run of Eugene O'Neill's Long Day's Journey into Night. That same year, he also scored his first big screen role with a cameo in the Nora Ephron comedy, Heartburn. His brief part was that of a subway thief whose failed attempt to steal the purse of the film's leading lady, played by Meryl Streep, is one of the more memorable parts of the movie. He would go on to win the Oscar for Best Supporting Actor in 1996 for The Usual Suspects and the Best Actor Trophy in 2000 for American Beauty. There was talk of Spacey possibly scoring another nomination this year as well for his work in the beloved summer hit Baby Driver or the upcoming Getty biopic, All the Money in the World. Spacey issued a statement soon after the BuzzFeed story was published on Sunday, which began with his claim that he did not recall this incident. But if I did behave then as he describes, I owe him the sincerest apology for what would have been deeply inappropriate drunken behavior, wrote Spacey. This story has encouraged me to address other things about my life. I know that there are other stories out there about me and that some have been fueled by the fact that I have been so protective of my privacy. He then went on to state, I now choose to live as a gay man. This was a shocking statement from Spacey, who in 2010 said that being forced to reveal his sexuality was akin to being a bullied teen in an interview with the Daily Beast. I think what we have seen in terms of gay teenagers committing suicide because of bullying is anguishing. I think young people, if they are feeling like they are confused, need to know that there are people to talk to and that there are places they can go and not feel alone, said Spacey. But I feel that they have just as many rights as I do to not be bullied. And I don't understand people who say, well, this is a terrible thing that is happening to this young person whose life is being exposed and then turn around and do it to another person. People have different reasons for the way they live their lives. You cannot put everyone's reasons in the same box. He then closed out his response by saying, It's just a line I've never crossed and never will. That move caused a fast and furious backlash, with writer and actor Billy Eichner one of the first to respond, writing, That Kevin Spacey statement. Nope. Absolutely not. Nope. He then tried to find a small bit of humor in the situation by adding, Kevin Spacey has just invented something that has never existed before. A bad time to come out. That move then caused Eichner a bit of guilt, leading him to tweet, but honestly I hesitate to make jokes because the Spacey statement is truly disgusting, irresponsible and dangerous. Okay good night. Saturday Night Live writer Paula Bell wrote, I just had a morning meeting with my fellow gays and we cannot accept your application, Mr. Spacey. Please move along, Bish. Others, like Modern Family star Jesse Tyler Ferguson, showed their love for it rather than go after Spacey. Anthony Rupp, you have always been one of my role models amongst the LGBTQ community. I am proud to know you. So much love for you, wrote Ferguson on Twitter.
But meanwhile said after the publication of his story, I came forward with my story, standing on the shoulders of the many courageous women and men who have been speaking out to shine a light and hopefully make a difference, as they have done for me. Everything I wanted to say about my experiences in that article, and I have no further comment about it at this time.